right, sorry, I'll shut it off. I don't want to hurt anyone. Hello, the internet! Uh, welcome to Unprofessional Movie Reviews. Uh, it's not a movie, and, uh, well, it is going to be unprofessional. Um, just one person right now, Mark, uh, Taylor was going to do it, but he's a little sleepy, because it's like 3 in the morning where we are. Um, why did we wait till 3 in the morning to review the Star Wars trailer? Because we've watched it about 30 times. 30 times. About. Been, uh, kind of taking some notes, uh. <laughs> But a lot of attention to it. I got a lot of things I got to say. Uh, my cat keeps judging me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's start where the trailer starts off. First, if you didn't go buy your tickets, buy your Star Wars tickets. I bought like nine for like nine friends. Or at least we bought nine. I didn't personally buy them. We split it. <laughs> so I've been looking forward to this movie. I've had um, a countdown on my phone since like 500 days. And now we're down to like... 60 days. Holy shit. Okay, so let's talk about the trailer. Let's not just talk about how obsessed I am about Star Wars and my little BB-8 droid. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the trailer. So it starts off with Finn. Or not Finn, uh, with uh, Ray. So very Ray heavy for the first like five seconds or 15, 20 seconds, whatever it is. And then she, um, somebody says to her, you know, who are you? And she goes, oh, I'm nobody. And it, it really reminded me of Luke. They're in the desert. You see the ship go up. She watches the ship go up. Very Luke Skywalker-y. Loved it. Okay. Uh, and then we move on to Finn. And Finn's like, this is the only life I've ever known. Da-da-da-da-da. What am I fighting for? Really feels like he started his, he's been living his entire life in the so long of the Empire in the First Order, and now he's finally, maybe he saw something really rough, and maybe he's now just ending it. And he's starting to fight for the Rebels, or the Resistance is what they're calling it now. Awesome. Holy shit, that crashing, uh, I believe it's, I'm assuming it's uh, Finn's uh, TIE Fighter, it's just flying in atmosphere onto the, holy shit. There's so many things to talk about. Moving on to the next thing you see is Kylo Ren. He's talking to the Vader mask. His voice is a little... I'm not 100% sure if I'm a fan of the voice. I'll give it some time. It's very... Very... What you would assume it to be. At least... It's not It's not like Bane from Dark Knight Rises is bad. But it hopefully it won't bug me that much. But... I don't know. If I have a slight of a negative, it's I don't know how I'm feeling about Kylo Ren's voice. But he's talking to Vader's mask. Keep in mind that not everyone knows that Darth Vader turned good. And I'm assuming since this dude's such a huge, huge fanboy of Vader, he's got the mask, he's got... That I'm assuming he had no idea that Vader is actually the one who kills the em killed the Empire... People probably just think it's rebel propaganda. If you're reading the um, Star Wars comic books right now, in the comic book Shattered Empire, right after the em Emperor dies, somebody's like, a bunch of Imperials are talking, a bunch of people in Star Destroyers, and they're like, well, well the Emperor's dead, and one of the like leading commanders goes, no, that's rebel propaganda. <laughs> so I'm assuming that if that was considered rebel propaganda, I'm assuming a lot of people are just you know, in denial that Vader actually killed the Emperor. So it looks like this Kylo Ren, who's going to be part of the Knights of Ren, who's being played by Adam Driver, I'm assuming that he has no clue or just refuses to believe that Anakin does come back, that Vader, you know, turns good right at the end to kill Emperor. He probably has no clue. Or he denies it. Anyways, moving on, he gets this really touching moment with, uh, with... It keeps showing stuff, but then you get this really touching moment with Han of him just like, all these fantastic things, everything's true, da-da-da. What actually stood out to me the most on that was how great the galaxy mapper, like, I don't know what they're doing, but you see these little hologram fucking um, planets around him. It really looks like they were like mapping out an astrogation for like, a hyperdrive jump or something. It looked just really cool, and I, it really looked great. Um, Harrison Ford, in the four seconds we've seen him, may, has made me cry now. <laughs> like, 
all four seconds. Everything we're seeing with Harrison Ford, he doesn't look like he's dialing this in. It really does look like he died back in the Han Solo. It looks really good. Um, and I'm not saying that out. Everybody else looks really good. Uh, Daisy Redley looks amazing. And um, John Boyega, I'm so excited to see what this guy can do. If you've never seen Attack the Block, John Boyega is awesome in Attack the Block. And he's just a kid in it. And he's, well, like 17, 18, maybe he's 20. But he's just awesome in Attack the Block. So I can't wait to see him. Him. It looks like him and Finn, or uh, I keep getting there. Finn and Ray are, like, leading this movie for the most part. It's going to be an ensemble cast, but it really does look like they're going to be the two, like, most, you know, in the in front of the camera. And I can't wait to see what John Boyega can do with that kind of spotlight onto him. I'm excited. Um, moving on, uh, just tiny little tidbits. You keep seeing a lot of stuff, a lot of flashes. And then um, there's a moment where Kylo Ren's got his hand on somebody and you get this nice kind of zoom up on his mask and his hands it looks like that's Oscar Isaac uh, Poe Dameron played by Oscar Isaac uh, the rebel pilot you see a lot it looks like it's him but it's kind of up close and he's uh, kind of screams I don't know what he's doing is he doing some type of force thing to his head like fucking with his mind I don't know but that looked crazy it looked awesome um so I'm really I really can't wait to see what that's about. And then, uh, of course, we got that little shot of of Leia, like, resting on Han's chest. I'm not sure if Han and Leia, like, stay together throughout, you know, from the last movie to this one. And a lot of people were speculating that they're not even going to like each other because that's how the relations always been. I don't know. That scene didn't really, that little flash didn't really tell us if they actually like each other a lot. Maybe something happened and he's comforting her. But it definitely did, it did show that they can at least be in the same room together. Um, and that, I mean, wow, Carrie Fisher looks great right now. She really got back into her Leia mode. And it, oh man, I, I really can't be more excited for this movie. And it, yes, People will accuse me of just fanboying over this. Mark, if it was a Star Trek movie that looked like this, you'd be uh, thinking this. Yeah, probably. I've been, I've been living and breathing Star Wars since I've seen it as a kid. Yeah, I probably am fanboying over it because I do not have the ability not to. I'm just trying to pick every little bit I can out of this trailer because it's probably the last one we're going to get. And it, then, I don't know, really small things... BB-8 being in the back of Poe Dameron's um, uh, X-Wing. It looks like what I can now guess of the plot, and this is a bullshit guess because I don't know have any details, looks like something goes down on the desert planet, which is Jakku. It looks like the Starkiller base that we saw on the uh, poster that dropped recently, it looks like a new Death Star. looks like that Starkiller base isn't really a huge part, at least you don't really see much of it in the trailer. But you do see all this, all the, uh, you know, the bad guys with uh, Kylo Ren looks like he's on this snow planet a lot. So I'm assuming maybe they have a base on the snow planet and then you do see a big fight over the snow planet like with the ships. And then that's where, uh, this is the kitty, this is Savannah. Um, that is where um, you see uh, John Boyega's character uh, Finn with the blue lightsaber with zero technique about to go up against Kylo Ren. It's in that the uh, winter planet, so it was or snow snowy ice planet, whatever. So I'm thinking starts on Jakku, you meet up uh, with Finn, crash lands on Jakku, Rey's already there. They meet up with Han and Chewie there, and maybe maybe Leia. I might be 100 percent off on this. Stuff happens, they team up, they get off of Jakku, more stuff happens, and then it all ends in a giant battle over the ice planet to try to, I don't know, do something. That's all I'm gathering. That's probably why I'm so excited for this movie, because I don't know anything about it. Like, that's all I can really get. Okay, um, thank you for listening to me rant about this trailer. I'm going to definitely give it a 4.9 out of 5. And that's because I'm just an utter fanboy. It could have just been John Boyega like farting on a snare drum and I would have given it like a 5 point or 4.5. Like it would have been, I would have loved it just much. 
So, anyways, uh, tell me what you thought of this trailer, please. I want to know if if I'm just looking at it with rose-colored sunglasses, and I want to know if this trailer sucked to you. Let me know. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, some professional movie reviews. Please click like. Please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Unprofessional Movie Reviews. Follow us on Twitter with official UML, UMR, capital M, capital U, capital R, in the right order, UMR. And, <laughs> sorry, I need to go to sleep. And thank you for watching, and please comment and all that stuff. And I want to know your guys' opinions. Let me know your opinion. Okay, bye!